Hello, we are discussing about gate 2008 ECE paper. The number of open right half plane poles of G of S is For the given G of S, how many number of poles present on right half of S plane Whether they are 0, 1, 2 or 3 That we are going to find The right half plane poles can be calculated by applying routh Hurwitz criteria for the given transfer function And routh Hurwitz criteria is directly applied to the denominator of given transfer function Ok So now I am applying the Routh Hurwitz criteria. This is s power 5 and it is s power 4. And coefficients first we will write this is 1, 2, 3, 6 and 5, 3. So s power 3 coefficients you can get like this. First we will multiply this elements 2 into 3 minus 6 into 1 okay divided by this element so that is what generally we will calculate so 6 2 into 3 minus 6 into 1 2 into 3 is 6 6 into 1 is 6 so this is first one and this is minus second one divided by third one so 6 minus 6 is 0 0 by something is 0 itself you will get and the second one can be calculated by going through in this way 2 into 5 first minus 3 into 1 ok second that is 2 into 5 is 10 10 minus 3 is 7 divided by 2 itself so this is 7 by 2 and you will get the no other column because the other elements are not present now if any one of the if any one of the row in Ruth Hurwitz criteria whose first element is 0 then the corresponding rows you are going to get it as s power 2 as infinite and s power 1 as infinite by infinite s power 0 as going to be like this so you cannot get a uh, value you cannot get a integer value so you cannot specify the stability if you are getting one of the uh, rows first element is 0 so that's why you must be replacing 0 with epsilon and epsilon is going to be treated as is tending to 0 plus that is a small positive value we will assume otherwise the next rows are going to be either 0 or infinity or undetermined from that one there is no way of predicting the stability so first replace this one so this is s3 is now replacing with S3 is now replacing with epsilon. Epsilon means 0 plus. Okay. Now we will write this one S2. S2 can be written as 6 epsilon minus 7 by epsilon. 6 epsilon minus 7 by epsilon. So assume that one 6 epsilon minus 7 as something value as x. So x let x is equal to 6 epsilon minus 7 divided by 6 sorry minus divided by epsilon ok because every time writing this much bigger is going to be unnecessarily it is it don't look good so now the next value if you are going to write 3 epsilon minus you can assume it as 0 0 into something is 0 3 epsilon minus 0 divided by epsilon you will get it as 3 itself next s power 1 now you are assuming that one it is x value so 7 by 2 x 7 x by 2 minus 3 epsilon divided by x and this you are going to get it as 0 by something is 0 and last element is s power 0 s power 0 is this value into 3 minus 0 into 6 0 and divided by this one you will get it as 3 itself so now we are going to find out how many number of poles are on left half of s plane and on right half of s plane for that one now replace ok epsilon with a small positive value of 0 plus 0 plus now s3 s power 5 is 1 this is positive s power 4 is positive so that it is positive positive and s3 
S3 is also epsilon, epsilon is nothing but 0 plus which is nothing but positive value only. So S power 5 is positive, S power 4 is positive, S power 3 coefficient is also positive in the first column. Now we are going for the S power 2. S power 2 is very small positive value of epsilon that is nothing but 6 into that 0 that will become 0 minus 7. Minus 7 is going to be dominating. Okay minus 7 plus 0 then it is minus 7 divided by that small positive so minus by plus is going to be negative only so you will get a negative value 6 epsilon minus 7 by epsilon this x will be equal to negative value as epsilon tending to 0 plus okay this will become some positive value in the denominator and numerator is going to be having positive 0 so 6 into 0 is 0 0 minus 7 is minus 7 divided by some positive value. So definitely you will get a negative value. So as epsilon tends to 0, x will be tending to negative value. Remember this one. So S2 will be negative. And next S1. S1 is going to be also. This is negative, negative. This is negative value. Okay, 7 by 2 into x. So this is negative and minus epsilon is positive so that negative divided by negative so you will get it as positive value and s power 0 is positive ok so the number of sign changes number of sign changes you can observe as all are positive s power 5 4 3 coefficients so positive to negative first sign change and negative to positive second sign change number of sign changes are 2 and later the positive is continuing till the end s power 0 so number of sign changes are 2 that means 2 poles are on right half of s plane if the number of sign changes are 0 then no pole is on the right half of s plane as there are 2 sign changes in the first column so that we can specify that one there are 2 poles present in the right half of s plane so the answer for this question is C. C is the right answer for this question. Thank you.